Hello guys. Welcome to another call. Now, yeah, what? Uh, even though, even though I'm not gonna record my face, you guys are free to record your faces if you want. You're just not allowed to play any games or applications. So, anyway, yeah, this call is about my. My share by Grand Theft Auto San Andreas series called Places Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Adventures. Yeah. Now, not oh. many people have joined the call yet. I am going to wait a bit. Now, okay, I'm not going to start the call by talking about that series. I'm going to talk about some other things too. So, well, while more people are coming, I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer a few questions before I talk about my Grand Theft Auto Andreas series. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. 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 I will start. Okay. Go ahead to that. Do you plan on seeing um, the third Trolls movie that just came out? I don't know if you're interested in that franchise or not. Oh, I will review it, but unfortunately I'm going to have to wait until January to review it because in, in the movie theaters in Iceland, it's, it's only available in Iceland. I don't want to watch it in English, so... To wait for it to come on streaming services which will in January before I can watch it in English. So yeah. I will review it oh, right. I'll review it in January. Do you know what streaming services it's coming out on? Because I do want to watch it again. Because I just I, saw it and I liked it. I don't know. But yeah, All right. I'm really looking forward to seeing that movie Sons. Trolls World Tour still is my number one favorite movie of the of the two thousand twenties. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I will. I will. I will answer three questions before I get to the before I get to the main topic. So, all right. I will answer um. three questions unrelated to the the main topic before I get to the main topic. So, any other questions? Go ahead. Uh, Blaze, I have a question for you. All right, go on. Uh, where, 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 what country are you coming for? Because your English, I, I notice your English is not too like as as in English. I'm sorry, I don't know so much English. Um, so if you don't understand some something, I. I'm from Iceland, by the way. Okay. Okay, well, but where, what's your country? I'm from Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. Okay, can you can you send me the name of your country to to looking for in Google, please? Sure. Yeah. That's the name. Okay, of Okay, thank country. you. No problem. Uh, in. Uh, ah, Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me looking for. Let me look in in in, in the best friend of the man. The internet. <laughs> okay. Uh, co country. And hey, boys, uh, what's your opinion on like a uh, Half Life? Mm. Eric played it. In. Okay. Iceland. Okay. Okay, Iceland. Okay. Uh, official language. Okay. Iceland. Enough. I'm gonna. All right. I think that's enough. I will answer one more, more question from okay. another person before I get to the main fucking topic. Okay. Go on. Please. Anyone else Please. have a qu question related to my Grand Theft Auto series? Go ahead and ask. We will answer one more, more question.
Go on. Anyone? Um, I think I think anyone have a, another question, but hmm, let no, me I'm, think I'm a saying... question, Glaze. Okay, I'll answer one more question. Okay. Uh, what's your? No, I mean from another person. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but everyone to a fair shot. Okay. I'll answer one more question and then we'll get to the main topic. Hey, so like, what, what's your opinion on the Half-Life series? Have you yes. ever played it? No, I haven't. I haven't. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Now then. Okay, now that I've answered a few questions. I am going to I'm going to the main fucking topic here. So I I'm gonna continue the discussions on what we talked about in the previous call about about the about my granted my, about my series, Places Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas Adventures. Now, yeah, I've gotten very fucking far in that series, and I'm also working on series for other GTA games. Now, yeah. 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 Do you guys have any critiques towards the way, how I approach commentating on the cut scenes? I, I would like some critiques towards that. Am I doing something wrong? I'm do, I would like to know what I'm, if I'm doing something wrong when commentating on the cutscene so I can improve from it. So, do you guys have any critiques towards that? Um, Alex, are you there? I'm not much of like a GTA person, so I can't really critique on like the standpoint of your opinion on the games and stuff. But I, I do like your video style and your editing and stuff. It's pretty solid, and I like it. Yeah, um, I mean, like you, you do a decent job at uh, is there narrating anything, the game. Is there anything about the way I commented on the cutscenes which you think that can be improved on, Alex? I mean, uh, I'd probably say, say they just like keep things keep things simple, you know. Yeah, I see. All right. Yeah, this is this call isn't just so you guys know. This call isn't just about, but serious places, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas Adventures. In fact. This this call is meant just about the fucking credit auto games in general. Yeah. Alright, I get it now. There isn't much wrong with how I commented on the cost scenes. Okay, I'll I'll let that go. So uh, okay. Are there any are there any corrupt corpse like ten penny in, in any of the Later games after the e, games between GTA 3 and San Andreas, as well as the prequel games. Are there any corrupt co-ops in the games in Grand Auto 4 or later, like Tenpenny? Oh yeah, there are plenty of uh, corrupt cops. Got that one in the stalls and... Uh, GTA not, 3. Uh, quite frightening because, and then you have that, like, uh, Francis McCreary. Uh, you know, know him. GTA 4. Don't really, uh, don't really remember much of the other characters from... There is. So I don't know how we're gonna do this. Right. 
Well, there's corrupt government officials. I know that. Like Steve Haynes. GTA 5. And it's been a while since I've played the games. Okay. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, if you guys didn't already know, I do plan on making a video somewhere in the future explaining why Salvatore Leone is my favorite character of the fucking Grand Theft Auto games because he is, he is, he is my favorite. Yeah, he's uh, there. Blaze, I, I need to go. Alright, take care. Uh, I hope you don't mind. You too, Blaze. Bye bye. Okay, it's cool. Bye. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't know how a satellite. He's like the uh, the main representation of you know, the mobster. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think it will be cool to just see like a video just on him and why you like him and stuff. Yeah. That would be I, cool. I, I am I am planning on making a video like that sooner in the future, possibly in 2024. Yeah, the year is almost over, so yeah, maybe I will make I do plan on making a video about him in 2024. I haven't killed him yet in, the, in my Grand Theft Auto 3 series. I'm gonna reach that point of the game before I make the fucking video. Uh, yeah, that part was tragic, you know. Ever since CJ Condon, he ain't never trusted anyone. He didn't even trust Claude, even though he was making good work, because, you know. Yeah, and Maria. I would prefer if you didn't tell me things. how he dies because I haven't reached that point in the game yet and I don't want it spoiled. I mean, basically, Maria tells you that. Uh, no, no, I, I, mean, send... I don't want you to spoil it for me. That's your already played. Um, no, I, no, I haven't. I haven't reached that part of the. Game yet in my in my Blazes Grand Theft Auto 3 Adventure series. I haven't reached that par point yet. And no, I have never actually played much of the game when I was younger either. But I played a lot of my city and San Andreas, but with GTA 3 I didn't really play much of the missions back then. But yeah, even if I had, I probably would have forgotten about it by now, so yeah, I want to figure out for myself how Salvatore Leone dies in that game when I reach that part in my series. I hope you understand. Well, all you do is just kill him. Yeah. All right. Alright, again, okay. Now, what is that? Oh yeah. I am so fucking happy that I beat the mission, mission three full. It is definitely one of the fucking hardest missions of the entire game. And you know, that's why I fucking love the mission so much. I love a great challenge. Yeah, it took me a very fucking long time to figure out how to beat that mission. But I finally fucking beat it. I'm so glad. Yeah, it's one of those things that make you go crazy. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. All right, I will be right back. There is something that I should probably take care of now. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I was just uploading a certain video. Okay, Blaze, I gotta go. So I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll be able to stay longer in the next call. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. Okay. And that just leaves three. Yeah, hopefully the video just uploaded will it'll get more people to join. Okay. You know what? It's 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 fine. It it's fine. You are well versed on on by Grandstation Andrea series. As long as there is at least one person who we can talk to about this, that's all what it is. Better. So it's you are in this call and you know a lot about by series and the Grand Soto series as a whole. So you will be able to provide a lot of discussion. So I don't mind the lack of people here. Yeah, cool. Uh, like your name, by the way, Blaze the Booty Fan. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to this call. It's been... Yeah. Hi. Other place. Welcome to this call. Good to, good to see you here. So how are you? Um, yeah. My rap and we popping, huh? Yeah. Now, speaking of Grand Theft Auto, there is one thing that I find very weird. I am playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City again, and when I go to the mall, there is no one there except for fucking gang members. What the hell is up with that? Yeah, I find that very weird that there are no... Ordinary fucking people there. You would think that there would be a lot of people in a fucking more shop in there, but apparently not. In Grand Theft City, I I don't I find that very weird. Yeah, I'd say it's probably just like a glitch, or maybe it's just like a, it's one of those things you're not expected to think too much about. Yeah. Okay, for those of you who just joined, I want, I want, just want to remind you all that you aren't required to talk about my Grand Theft Auto series or the GTA games. You can talk about other things too if you want. So yeah, thank you all who just joined. Hmm. Jerry Boy, are you trying to say something? Well, I was just thinking of what to say. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. What's your inspiration for your skit videos, like when you usually do them? What prompts that? Oh. Well. It's it's you it's you it's usually just the TV show or movie the characters are from which appear in those skits. That's usually the inspiration, and I try to do something new with these characters. I see. Yeah. That's basically it. Ah, uh, so that's like you just like like tell story. I yeah, I usually make my own stories with the characters from movies and TV shows. Yeah, like, and just so much potential. You know, like, see all these characters. Yeah. All this type of media. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, it's Salvatore Leone. It's also gonna appear in one of my movie reviews. <laughs> yeah. Now. Let's see. Now. Is there any story in Grand Theft Auto 2? Is there any story in that game at all? Well, since it's like a top view, it mainly just focuses on gameplay. The story is mainly disconnected from the gameplay. Yeah, so... Just but, about. So it wouldn't be worth it to make a series like that based on that game, would it? Like, just do what you want to do, man. I'm not saying it's like a bad game or anything, just... No, no, yeah. no, I mean... I mean, when I... When I review the missions in those... In those series, I talk about both the objectives and the story itself. But if there isn't much of a story, it's not worth making a... A... A, ser, a series about... It's a regular Let's Play series. Yeah. It's just, uh... Alright. No, back, back then games were mainly focused on gameplay. Right. Fair. Fair. Now, here's a question. Honestly, says I want to remain on topic, I am going to ask everyone who, who is here, and, and don't worry, you are also, you're also free, to answer the question through text if you want. We don't have to be in the voice chat. So yeah. Here's a question to all. What in your opinion is the worst mission in all the Grand Theft Auto games and why? Ooh. Go on. Tell me. Well, I'd say the worst mission in any GTA game would be like the ones where you have to do yoga and then uh, but the ones I hate the most are like you know like the driving missions where you have to do all these stupid challenges like, I, I hated those missions so fucking much hold on those yoga missions do they do they exist in in the 3D universe of the GTA games. Yeah, it's all the same. It's all the same game series. Just yeah, you, know, you know, like how CJ has to go to the. It's like the San, place in San Fierro where you have to do the driving missions, like get a driver's license and whatnot. All right. So you can like unlock, unlock content for the game. Yeah, I do. I do see what you mean. Yeah, I just hate doing those missions. Like, I, I wouldn't say they're. I wouldn't say they don't serve a purpose or anything. But like the yoga mission in like GTA Five is probably the worst mission in that game. It's not not really like something I really hate doing. It's more or less just boring compared to the rest of the game. Yeah, I understand. I understand what you mean. To me, the worst mission in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Is I don't remember the name of it. Hold on, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look up the name of it on my cell phone. Okay. In my opinion, the worst mission in in Grand Theft Auto Andreas, at least as far as I remember. And let's see, what's the name of? Yeah, Shuffler. Yeah, the the main of the mission, which is in my opinion the worst mission, is su supply lines. That mission is a complete fucking waste of time. I mean, it's hard as hell, and we finally beat the mission. There is no real certification because this is a, it's an optional mission, and you don't unlock the rest of the game except a mission zero hearts after that. And the worst part is, the cutscenes in that, before that mission, 
the cutscene that isn't even a fucking good cutscene. So that mission is a complete waste of time. And it's not satisfying once you beat it. That's why I fucking hate that mission. Yeah. Uh, I have yet to play through the GTA campaign, so I'm not too knowledgeable on this one. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Alex, what do you think of that fucking mission? Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing that mission again? Oh, the the name of the mission is Supply Lines. It's the mission where you have to fly a bunch of fucking mini helicopters to destroy delivery trucks. Oh yeah, that one. That one was that one was fucking shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and it just turned zero into. Gonna kill all these guys who are just delivering stuff. It's just their job. You gotta, well, you gotta kill them all. Yeah. It, isn't there a more suitable way to do this stuff? I'm just saying. Yeah. Well. Well, honestly. But but. But aren't you also just? Killing someone who's doing his job when you, when you trick a celebrity to lock him into a car and then drive to the fucking ocean in one of the sun, uh, one of the early missions. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think that was a pretty dick move of, of, of Carl to do in the beginning of the game when you, when you tricked a celebrity and drove a car into the fucking ocean. Do you remember that mission? Oh yeah, I know that mission. Yeah. What is Carl killing someone who was just doing his job in that mission as well? I mean, sure, but it's just like... like <laughs> could, could, could have solved it in a less uh, violent way. Right, right. Oh, and to everyone who just joined, welcome to this call. Well, you know, like, whatever, man. It's a game, so. Yeah. Okay, everyone who just joined, welcome to the call. What's up, ganglings? How are we doing, boys? Oh, I'm doing Yo, great. what is up? We're bringing it back around town, everybody. Woo! Yeah. What's, what's going on, what's Alex? Going? What's going on, Blaze? What's going on, Call Moderator? What's going on, Floppy Birdie? What's going on, Garf? Johnny Boy, Superman, oh. and the. How we doing tonight? Let's go! What Jeffy Main? What is this? We're getting, we're getting lit, yo. This shit's fire. Right, cool. <clears throat> and for those what's up, Blaze? Wondering, I am not working on, on this, the like, <clears throat> series at the moment. I'm coming <coughs> on, on oh. my series going over by safety. I'm currently working on the second Ow, episode. Tag. Fuck. Whoa. Sorry. Yeah. I'm currently working oh. on the second oh, episode man. or is it the third? I think I'm working on the second episode at my by city adventure series. And it's going on smoothly. <coughs> you got a great point, Blaze. Yeah. Great point. I agree. Did you know that? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I love you, man. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I do Oh, it just broke my wall. Oh, fuck. Oh. What'd you do? Ow. What are you doing, I just, man? I looked at my wall and just fucking punched it, dude. I just felt whoa, like it. Whoa. I just punched a hole right through my wall. I don't think this is the place, man. We're, that's we're having metal, like a, bro. Oh, we're shit, a, dude. A that's that's a big hole. That's a big hole, gang. Ah! Oh, that's what she said. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have drywall okay, in my man. hand. Okay. Be quiet. There is something that I want to say. Dude, why are walls so weak in the North Americas? Oh, fuck. 
Okay. What I find very weird is that for some reason in the Grand Theft Auto games, the word fuck what didn't start being used until San Andreas. I find that odd because the, all the games before then, they, they had drugs and reference to sex and everything was so, it's for sport yourself. How, why the hell was the word fuck used in the Grand Theft Auto games until San Andreas? That, 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 that is weird to me. Does anyone know why? Blaze, I'm not gonna lie, the only uh, thing I heard in that entire sentence was fuck you. Um, no, he's talking about, uh, why they, they weren't allowed to use fuck until San Andreas in GTA. Oh, cause pe uh, old white women. Maybe. They were like, oh, guys, swearing's bad. Censoring's weird. Yeah, they want to censor our words. They want to take away our rights. You can Women. make a game about no, can shooting and running over people, play? but you can't These are fuck. violent video games. Yeah. Yeah, sensory is just dumb, and higher-ups were just like, well, oh, you know, I... you can brutally murder people and run them over, but you, you can't say fuck, Ooh. that's too much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really like censorship. Yeah. I just find it weird that, that the word fuck was just recruiting across the total games until San Andreas. It's just weird to me. It has been bothering me for quite some time. Yeah. To be honest, I never even noticed. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. I liberal! That was something. Um, on the topic of like sensory and stuff, uh, Blaze, is your channel monetized? No, and... no, it's not, and it is. Is it monetized? I see. Willingly, because <laughs> because I prefer just making whatever the hell I want to make without worrying about the monetization policy. That's why my my channel isn't monetized. That's fair. I just know that you, you know, you don't really care about censorship and you use words that higher-ups at YouTube probably wouldn't prefer, so I was just wondering if you ever had monetization issues. Yeah. Yeah, like, like even if you're, even if you don't agree with your older opinions, you still, still like, are open about, you know, what you want to say. Oh. Yeah. Yo, what's up? What's good, Marky? Yo, what's up, Marky? Oh, nah, what's good? Oh. I've been trying to I've been trying to get to the Glammy era right now. Ooh. I have plans for the Glammy era soon. I can't wait. Way. Yo, anime. Oh, somebody's playing knocking sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to get flashings, but I don't know how to sign into it. So, should I scrap the Glammy era or not? This is the or should I still working on my own Gotcha Life era? Gotcha Life. Um, alright, you know... Sorry about that. It's my parents arguing. Okay, you know... <laughs> looking back... No, 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 it's nothing. Listen. Are you guys gonna... How many of you are gonna fucking buy Grand Theft Auto 6 when it comes out? I'm not so sure if I will. Ooh. I mean, I might buy it. It looks it's like probably it's gonna, gonna be a good be, game. Like, it's probably gonna be hell of expensive. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just really worried about, stuff. like, running it and stuff. I, uh, I Mr. Blaze Dan, are you still having plans for the, the Mario P6? Yes. Yes, I am working on it. I am working on it. Where did start yeah, That's a good question. Nah, it, it, it's, it's fine, like I said, people are allowed to talk about other things as well. This isn't just about Grand Theft Auto or GTA series. But it's the main topic though. Yeah. Wait, are you still working on the GTA series? Yeah. Yeah. I did have any plans for the go Emmy era weekly. I 
Attends qu'il y ait le podco animate. But yeah, I am still working on the search and I am very fucking far in the Grand Theft Auto 3 series. In fact, I am close to the end of the game. And I am gonna celebrate once I beat the fucking Oh yeah, please fam, I got my own Twitter X. Alright. Oh, but yeah, I'm very fucking far in the series. I should this the end of the game by early 2024. Yeah. So, yeah, no, you... anyway, I I just can't help but n notice that the topic of the of this discussion is that Blaine is cringe, and I just that's that's very interesting. If you look under, uh, if you look well, under general, there's a little. Had you heard of? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Had you heard of? You're kidding me. Uh, Blaze, is that the is that the topic that you intended to be on the the voice channel? Blaze, let me tell you. I've been trying to wait till the member seat. I got wait till the member countdown is is starting. I got I got wait. That's why I wasn't here. Well, honestly, looking back, maybe I shouldn't have made a, made a, made a whole call dedicated to my Grand Theft Auto series. I already am running out of things to say about that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this was not a good idea. It's Johnny it said. seems to be going fine. It's a little bit chaotic, but everyone seems to be staying. Uh, wait, somebody else has left. Stuff. Well, the main topic of this call is supposed to be about my Grand Theft Auto Andreas series, but I can't think of much to s say now that I did the right to say in the last call. Mm. You know what? I'm going to be all fine for a while. See ya, boy. Right. See you, man. Here. If, if you really can't think of anything else, you could always just change the topic, too. I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah like... All things into a lot of movies. A movies you can talk about. Yeah. Actually. Uh, if we really don't have a <clears throat> topic right now, there's a... Quick question I'd like to ask. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, guys, you can talk about some other things when I think about something else to say. Go ahead. Yeah. Right, so I have, um... Me and my me and my friend group, I, I... We have this little... We have this little question that we ask. Whenever I can get a hold of uh, big internet figures, I've asked this question to, like, Critical and a few other people. Uh, I, I just wanted to ask, you know, what would you do if an alien came into your house and took all your Legos? Well, I don't have any Legos in the first place, so that wouldn't be possible. Yeah, I'm but like, saying, what would happen? You know, hypothetically, if, if that were to happen, what would be your reaction? Well, like I said, I don't have any Legos, so... Nothing special would happen. Oh, uh, do you know. have do you have anything of value that you know you wouldn't be very happy if you know aliens were to take? Well, if if an alien tried to try to steal something from me, I would just fucking shoot the alien. Would would the alien be bulletproof? I it's need... actually a good question. That actually is a good question. I suppose... Like if it was it Predator depends. or something? It might be. I, I don't imagine it would just come in there and start stealing stuff without some kind of protection. Yeah. 
Yeah, thank you for especially for like this. Thank you for especially for thank you for, for thank you for bringing up something interesting while I'm thinking about something else to say about the series. This is very yeah. interesting to bring up. Yeah, I would probably just fucking shoot that alien. <laughs> That's a very good response. That's yeah, I haven't like gotten a that one gauge, yet. Or like a like an AR, MG. Gun is gun, man. Oh, yeah, but it depends on the caliber. Actually, definitely. I'm... I have, I have something. I have thought of something else to say related to the Grand Theft Auto games. And don't worry, the next call will be my skillers. Sub subjects, but but as of right now, the Grand Auto games is the main subject. Anyway, I just thought of something else to say about the Grand Theft Auto games. You see, there is a reason why I chose to play the original Grand Theft Auto Y City and San Andreas games as well as Grand Theft Auto Three, because I because many people have warned me that the remastered editions of the old Grand Theft Auto games are shit and have a lot of bugs so that's why I fucking avoided the remastered versions and I'm never fucking playing them yeah I've avoided them at all costs and I'm sticking to that alright the remastered editions of the old GTA games are shit aren't they uh, yeah, they, they didn't even fix anything. It's like, just, just make like made the graphics look like Play Doh. So the graphics look like shit. Is that what yeah, they like say? Look like... Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Okay, I have a question to all of you. Who is your favorite? Who's your favorite character in the Grand Theft Auto games? It can be any character from any of the Grand Theft Auto games. It doesn't just have to be from 3D Universe. It can be any character, period. So, who's your favorite character from the Grand Theft Auto games and why? I mean, probably, uh... Probably CJ, yeah. Yeah, my name is Salvatore Leone, and I already... Oh, hold on, wait a minute. I haven't really explained why Salvatore is my favorite, have I? No, I haven't in this call, so I might as well explain it now. The reason why Salvatore Leone is my favorite character of the Grand Theft Auto games is because, you know, he reminds me a lot of Giovanni from the Pokemon games. In this, uh, and in the sense that he is a true fucking gangster. He's a true fucking gangster that you don't want to mess with. That's why he's my favorite. Okay. Yeah. To the rest of you, who is your favorite character from the Grand Theft Auto games? Um, I'd probably have to go with like the basic bitch answer and say Trevor, but I I just think he's funny. Trevor, from which game is Trevor? Oh, GTA. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yo, Blaze, I'm a big fan. So, can you explain exactly who he is? Because I haven't played much of GTA 5, but I plan to in the future, just as I'm also making a series where I review the best shows in that game. But as of now, I haven't played much of Grand Theft 5, so could you guys explain exactly who the hell he is and what makes him so fucking awesome? I think <clears throat> Trevor is like the epitome of insane. Like he's not, he's not very like I wouldn't say he's cool or that his what he does is very planned out or strategic or anything. But he's crazy. Like he lights people on fire. He he makes soup yeah, out of people. He's a pedophile. He, too. He's a pedophile. Um, when he sees you know women walking down the street and they're chanting "We are women, we are free," he tells them to shut up. And he just says what's on everyone's mind. He he's. He's, he's a little crazy, but he's honest, and you know he helps out his his homies. Um, is he more crazy than Tommy Versace? Yeah, 
Yeah, but like the um, thing about Trevor is that he's like some insane hillbilly who's always hyped up on some type of drug. You know, always doing something for his own agenda. But still, <laughs> he's definitely evil in more ways than one, but he's not like. I'd say. Not a terrible terrible dude. Dude. Because, like, an actual psychopath, that, that'd be like Dmitry Askelov. Right. Okay. I look forward to playing Grand Theft Auto 5, which I will later. Yeah, I have to plan on making a series about that. Maybe this year, maybe next year, but I do plan on making a series about that. About the, the game Grand Theft Auto 5. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh damn, bro. That's not, that's not cool, bro. I hey, don't worry. I I am gonna censor that when I upload the video because that's not allowed on my server. Ooh, man, PewDiePie has seen better days. Well, wow. okay, let's just. Yeah, like, that. have you not seen the Kratos meme? Like, there are consequences to saying the N-word. Yeah, let's, let's just forget about that and talk about something else. Yeah. I think Mike... I think the government is it. Mike is also a very fucking cool character. Yeah. He is fucking cool. In Grand Auto, he's a character in Grand Auto San Andreas. Yeah. What do you guys think of hey. of the government is it Mike in Grand Auto San Andreas? Do you guys think he's cool? I think uh, he's very cool. He's pretty cool. He's more like your usual secret government agent type guy. Yeah, I like that. that. You know, like, at least he helps help CJ out. Yeah. And he's played by James Woods. Mm-hmm. Cool. What do you think, think about, about Spongebob? Spongebob? Uh. So, Yoshi, I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, intentional. Or like you unaccidentally left voice mod on, but your voice is like echoing itself. It's it's kind of scary. Yeah. All right. You know what? Hell with it. Let's just talk about random subjects until I can think of something else to say about the GTA games. After all, that you guys are allowed to talk about other subjects as well. So yeah. Alright, right. let's choose subjects to talk about what I think of something else to say about the GTA games. Oh, I have a question unrelated to the GTA games. Alright, go ahead. I'm here. Go ahead. So what's your what's your opinion on the cereal brand of Captain Crunch? But do you remember when he went oops all berries? Um to be honest, Captain Crunch is it really here in Iceland, so I don't know much about Captain Crunch. I have, I think I have eaten it sometimes, but I don't know much about Captain Crunch. Do yeah. you know anything about Captain Crunch? Oops, all berries. You know, he slipped up. More he, of there, all the berries yeah. were in there. Were in yeah, there. He, he accidentally put the all berries in there. And, you know, they were I'm like more that of a, for months. I'm more of a tricks type of guy. And like yeah, I've, ne I've never fucking are... eaten that. Is Captain know. Crunch as popular as Lucky Charms in the United States? I'd say so. Maybe. Alex, I don't know, um... Behold me, Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. Exactly how old you are, but I... I just thought I should let you know that there is a rule. There is a law stating that tricks are, in fact, for kids. So I just thought I might warn you of that before you... You know, purchased anymore. Yeah, like, I got arrested one time. I was trying to eat tricks. Ooh. Yeah, 
You think the guy from Lucky Charms, like the mascot, do you think he's a part of a cult? Probably. Like the Freemasons or something? Yeah. I'd say so. I could see it. I'd, I'd see it. I think maybe it's for kids because he lures them in. Maybe he needs to sacrifice them. I think he eats those kids. I think he turns them into tricks. Yeah, maybe that's why it's a trick. Eat. <laughs> Wait. The Lucky Charms mascot working against his own brand and turning kids into tricks. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, you know what? My mic working. I thought this was a to oh, yeah, yeah. ask. What's your favorite weapons in the GTA games? Lester. Like actual rappers or like. No, uh, no, I didn't say rappers, I said weapons. What's your favorite web? What are your favorite weapons in the GTA games? Lester. So, sorry for interrupting, but now that my mic is working, I just want to say Blaze. I'm a big I think, uh, I think Lost Ventures was a cool place. Sorry. Like, yeah, you I know, like, like personal. I'm more of a basic guy, so I'll just go with uh, Los Santos. I agree. No, I, I was asking, what's your favorite weapon? In the, what are your favorite weapons in the Grand Theft Auto games? I, I wrote it down. Ray gun. A ray gun. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Ray guns are cool. I don't know why the hell. They never appeared again in the games in any of the 3D Grand Theft Auto games. Probably because it would be too unrealistic. Uh, I'd say my favorite weapon would probably be the double action revolver from GTA 5. Nice. I'd say my favorite has I to be. I'd, I'd, I'd honestly have to go with the knife too, you know. They call me the slasher for a reason. Mine has to be the atomizer. Cool. Yeah, like, guns are so guns cool are too easy, shit. you know. Like with knives, you get to really feel the kill. Yeah. yeah. So, Blaze, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how's your day been? It's been doing great. That's, 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 that's great to know. That's great you know, know. honestly. I just realized something. I think the problem is I talked about so fucking much in the last call talking about GTA that there isn't really anything to add. So you know what? I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna... Normally my calls are 75 minutes long, but I think I'm gonna end this, end this call a bit early. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the call right here. Oh man. Thank you all for joining. No! Whoa. Right, I, I hope there's another one because that was that was a great experience. Yeah, that, it was good I talking like to you, Blaze. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The next yeah, call will be about hey, well, subject. Take care, bye. Blaze. I, I hope this is right, yeah, Blaze. Blaze.